Om Shri Sai Ram. Today in this video, I will explain you how I made this bike game using just 170 to 200 lines of code. As you can see on the screen, the player can move the bike left or right and the aim of the game is to avoid the cars or trees which are coming in the opposite direction and get the highest score as much as possible. Now, to make this game, the prerequisites are basic Python knowledge and knowledge of Pygame library. By the way, I am using this text editor called Sublime Text as you can see and uh, I am using Python language. Now we are going to create a new file just by pressing Ctrl N. We will get a new file and save it as new file dot py. This is a Python extension. Now I will import Pygame library. Import Pygame. Now I am creating a simple basic window output using the screen variable function using the pygame function called pygame dot display dot set mode in which you can mention the resolution of the display output window which is 500 is the width and 800 is the height of the screen next if you run this file we will just get a black screen and it will get disappeared because the execution of the file has been completed till here now we will get this window but if we press or click anything it won't respond so we have to close this window next to add some functionalities to this window we can just type this function will get all the commands or inputs from the user into the window so now when we run this file the window is responding and you can see you are able to close the window without any errors as the screen is ready now now we will add some background color and uh, blitter paste some images on the screen after the while loop just add this line mention the rgb color coding in a tuple as you can see we have mentioned a white color inside a function called fill but the screen is not yet updated to get the screen updated we have to mention or call the function called pygame dot display dot update which will update the screen after every iteration if you want to change the colors it's just a basically a rgb color coding the first one represents r which is red and second is green and third is blue if you put zero zero and zero it's fully black and uh, if you want only blue you can just put off 255 we'll get a blue window now we'll blitz some images on the screen now we'll load the image into the file we have to mention the image name even with the file extension i have stored the image in this folder itself which is image.png next we'll just blit that image on. as you can see the image has been blit on the screen and it's at the left side corner of the screen because we mentioned 0 comma 0 which is the left hand corner we can even get it to the center by changing the coordinates now with this basic knowledge of pygame i'll explain you the game code which i made uh, for this making of this game I have just made three files which are main.py, images.py and main modules. This images file contains all the images which are to be loaded into the game and main module contains all the functions which are used for the making I mean, functionality of the game. I will explain you with the main modules first. I have imported the pygame, random and time and uh, os and even sys modules and even this images which is here. Next, I have defined these variables x and y, uh, basically for the determination of the player's x and y coordinates. And this is the width and height of the screen. And this is the position of the player. And this is the background color. And I have loaded all car images. As you can see in this images folder, I have loaded almost 7 car images. And uh, I have put that into a list. And even in this random car i am getting a random car each time i run this file using the random function uh, with the random dot choice next i created a trees list in which it has all the uh, trees which i loaded and then i am getting a random tree every time i load this file next i am initiating pygame module and created a clock object and even a font object and then this function is basically for uh, determining whether the game is over or not if the uh, game is over display this end image as you can see on the screen if the player crashes with some of the obstacles 
to display this game over image I have uh, defined this function basically I am just first if if while one while one is nothing but if true then bleed this image end image at 0 comma 0 is nothing but at the first place which is fully on the screen and then update update that image and command this command will get all the user actions same as pygame.event.get everything and then if that command is equal to pygame.quit quit and then even this is also for quitting same as above and with this I'll explain you py images.py I have imported pygame and these images are for uh, backgrounds first I have imported just the road image and then I have resized it to desired uh, size like using this transform.scale function we can resize the images to whatever uh, uh, resolution we want and then player image cars image tree and background image and uh, end image and that's all now in this main file I just imported all the same modules as in the main module next cre I created a screen using this function and initialized pygame and then set caption this this function will set the name of the game as you can see here the name of the game is road rash you can change it to anything else also it got updated now while one while one is nothing but while true uh, this a and b are for checking the collisions if the player uh, with the player and the obstacles and this fps change if each time the player gets rid of or uh, escapes one obstacle there's an increase in the fps which will make the game little more interesting next this is basic fps 40 which is uh, minimum and best for all gaming purposes next this is score score is zero whether the player is running or the game is over or not and then position of the player obstacle strategy this will determine which obstacle to be blitted on the screen and this is the main game loop while running running is nothing but this one one is nothing but true and we can set it to false and this game loop ends when the player collides with the obstacle event is equal to pygame.pol this this will take all the events which the user is entering or doing with the screen when the game is running and this quitting checking whether the player is willing to quit or not and then filling the background color we can change the background color to whatever you want here i gave this 100 comma this thing you can even change it to you can get a different color as you can see in the background next these functions are for checking whether the user enters any input like if the event is to move the bike left side or right side then check if the key is right uh, right key button has been pressed then move the position move the position of the player to the 615 x location and this if, if it's left the left side and then this will just position is uh, position of the player and next moment of the road which you are seeing behind basically this big road is the one image and these two small images are road two image which i created every time the game is run we have to move the road so that we can create a effect so that the player is moving forward so to remove that I created a rel y variable in which it takes the modulus of y which is the position which keeps increasing like if it increases by 10 the speed of the road increases same like fps and then we'll take the rectangle height so that we'll get the correct image to blit at the correct place if we take more than the image size we'll get a wrong image at the wrong place next after that we'll blit this screen image or uh, road image on the screen at this location 200 comma railway which is being created here and uh, will reduce the height by roads rectangle which is height so that the image won't get uh, overlapped or cut in the process next we are checking this railway image which is the movement image whether it's less than the height of the screen if it's not less uh, then don't bleed the image if we bleed the image uh, even if it's less it will go beyond the screen and which won't look nice so same for all the three roads which i created all the three images this one and all these three and uh, increasing the y location by 10 and then blitting the player position at the 500 position and the y axis we can even change the player position also next checking the collisions of the player with the obstacles i have created obstacle strategies in which uh, the player will collide with the obstacles or not to check and if it if he collides just end the game and this is for the determining the score and, and blitting it on the screen 
in this obstacle if obstacle strategy is zero which we defined here in the loop out of this zero comma six we'll get at least if we get zero we'll just bleed this random tree image on the screen at this location 30 comma a minus 100 and increase the a by 10 if a is more than 1300 which is the height of the screen then reduce the a to zero and again change the tree to another one and even the obstacle strategy and same like that for all the other strategies which 1 2 3 4 5 6 next displaying the score basically we had created one score variable before the uh, uh, game while loop which is zero and uh, now each time the player uh, keeps on playing the game it will be increased by 0 0.1 and the score value another uh, variable which is, which has the font object score and then the screen dot blit uh, line will tell where to bid this score value font at this location and then we'll update the screen as usual using the display dot update function and change the fps by one and uh, check whether the fps is beyond 200 and then reduce it by five plus five and this is the clock dot tick fps function which will maintain the fps and keep keep on updating when the while loop is running this is the game over function which i showed in the previous module uh, which controls the quitting and uh, blitting of the end image so Thank you for watching this video.